If you are getting into downwind sub foiling, you're gonna wanna tune in today. We are gonna give you some tips on how to ride swell downwind sub foiling. Let's go. Thanks so much for joining us today. We got wind in Idaho here, uh, so we are gonna go out and share some tips with you to learn how to ride some swell downwind subfoiling. If you are in the process of learning how to downwind subfoil, you know it's a struggle and we want to share some tips to make it as easy as possible. So today I have the KT Dragonfly 700 liters. I have the AFS Pure 1100, um, um, uh, the, the 1100. And I have the three meters Mantis from Cabrina. We are going to use a special trick to do it, which is the, the Anchorman leash from Cloud9. We're going to go in the water and I'm going to explain what we're going to do today. Let's go. All right, so let's get in the water. We've got some good wind today, which to be honest, isn't that often on the lake here in Idaho but that's the cool part to me is knowing wow you know we can do this stuff anywhere whether you are on the ocean in the middle of the country on the lake you don't need to be in Maui or in Hood River to do it and that's really the exciting part so let's get out there, clack, so whoop, gonna try not to get the camera wet, okay, so we are gonna get going, clack, and that's it, we are up, okay, so today I'm gonna use the Cloud9 Anchorman leash which is a great tool. It's so versatile as a leash. We've made a video already, you guys loved it. But today, I'm gonna show you how to use it if you are in the process of learning how to downwind subfoil. Downwind subfoiling is not easy. And what makes it hard also is that if you can't get up with your paddle up on foil, then you can't really learn how to ride swell and getting up on foil is the hard part and then if you learn how to get up on foil but then you don't know how to ride swell then it's kind of going to be a struggle still so today we are going to skip the phase where you have to get up on foil with your paddle we're going to be able to drop the wing and learn how to ride the swell give you some tips to be able to do that. The foil I'm using today, the AFS Pure 1100, is a pretty high aspect foil, you know, very high aspect. So he has tons of glide and it's a killer foil. So let's turn around here and do the jibe, otherwise I'm gonna run into my camera. Just easy jibe like make our way upwind switch fit and bring the camera back up okay so just disclaimer when you use your anchorman leash just make sure you don't use it in a crowded area people might get upset if you drop your wing right where they ride so try to get away from the crowd it's good to have some friends with you just you know let them know hey this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drop my wing and ride some swell so they don't freak out if they just see your wing out there and you are not there we've got minimal swell today we are on a lake yes it's windy 
it never builds a lot of swell so it's gonna be perfect to kind of like learn how to do it it's nice to know how to learn how to pump a tiny bit before you start trying to ride some well, swell it's just gonna if you can pump basic pumping but it's gonna it's gonna teach you um, it's gonna allow you to like be a bit more forgiving otherwise you won't go very far how to learn how to pump I would always say basically you are winging you see a piece of trap go just keep holding the wing pump and see how far you can go if you feel like you lose speed pick up the wing again right again next time if you feel good with that even put the wing totally down and just pump and see try to see where the swell is stay on top of the swell if you go too fast you're gonna go in the flat lose your speed so you kind of like want to go at an angle from the swell and try to stay as long as you can okay so once you have you've been able to do that with your wing perfect way to get your first like few rides then we are gonna drop the wing and guys don't forget all of the gear we always show you it's available on our shop wingfoilprocenter.com we always appreciate your support but let's get into it so I'm riding along I'm gonna be spotting some swell when I feel ready I'm gonna release I'm gonna let go down in a bit now you see how that anchor is down and now I'm gonna drop the swell pump and really try to stay on top of it and I don't want to pump all the time I just want to pump what just what I need because if you just pump all the time you are just gonna um, you're not gonna be able to feel am I on the swell or not so I give a few pumps to position myself I'm on a piece of trap I'm able to ride I feel it I have to turn to reposition myself and I'm gonna make my way like that if I have to I pump a bit more to connect another one and now I try to find it again I turn I try to stay with one and I'm gonna make my way just like that <clears throat> so now I did a small run and it's it's windy so I'm not gonna be able to like pump upwind really so now my wing is way upwind it's not gonna come down very quickly so I'm gonna have to go and swim to it okay so you see my wing it's slowly making its way downwind it's flapping but that anchor is rock solid I'm telling you we've tested it in so much wind and it works every time I have to tell you I was definitely skeptical at the beginning look at it it's like barely moving down in so rock solid so we're gonna get it back I'm gonna show you how to connect it again clack you can get it right here and in a matter of second boom it's back on I just have to stuff the small anchor into its sleeve and now we are ready to go again it literally takes two seconds so that's it to me first step is gonna be to ride the swell with your wing in your hand then if you want to get ready for downwind sub foiling you're gonna drop your wing doing that make it safe not the crowded area your friends are around if you need 
everybody knows you are dropping your wing nobody gets worried and that's gonna allow you to really read the swell because at that point you only rely on the swell exactly like I showed you you want to pump only when you need if as soon as you release you pump you pump you pump you never really get to feel the swell and so you are not able to know when you are on it so really pay attention and then scan that you're gonna get better at scanning the water at knowing exactly where to position yourself so you just have to do it over and over but let's do one more just for fun as we make our way back take off clack and I see some nice swell I'm gonna release clack and drop the wing and now woo, pump a bit to get to it I'm on it and now it's not gonna be here forever because it's always moving so I pump a bit connect get to another one I'm gonna turn go this way pump so fun yeah. But that's it, check out Wingfold Pro Center. If you wanna get uh, your leash, it's a game changer as a tool. We have more ways to use it that we're gonna show you um, a bit later. But if you are learning how to downwind subfoil, it's such a great tool. You can also, when you are getting on a new foil and you don't know if you're gonna be able to get up with your paddle, you can take your anchorman leash and then right to first lay on the swell with your new foil before you have to pop up with your paddle so i hope this was helpful i hope you got inspired we really want to give you all the tips and tools so you can learn how to downwind sub foil because it's so fun and yes it's hard we don't want you to give up we are going to keep sharing some tips so go out there have some fun share the passion if you have some tips put them down in the comments so everybody can know about it and check out wingfold procedure i already said it but we always appreciate your support thank you so much we'll see you guys next week you. Mm -hmm.